do you want to be a coach? Do you really want to land dream clients, have your own program, and create a result for people that you know you can help them create? Now, maybe you don't even know what that looks like or what your specialty is, your zone of genius would be as a coach. But if it's something you desire, we get to uncover it. We get to play with it. We get to you know, use your imagination to go out there and create possibility and create impact in a way that you feel led or called to create. So today, I just wanna uncover with you five things that you wanna think about when it comes to creating a coaching program. This is something that I myself have done, and I really wanna take you on the journey of what the process has been like for me to step out of affiliate marketing, for me to step out of you know, selling other people's programs and products or coaching for other people, but really starting to create something of your own. And all I can do is share my journey with you, and I invite you to come along with that. So let's dive in to the five pieces that you really want to figure out to start building the foundation for your very own coaching program. So whether you've been to my channel before or you're brand new, welcome, welcome. My name is Jen Johnson. I am your high-performance Christian business coach. And on this channel, I teach content creators and coaches how to ditch burnout, clarify your message and your offers so you can attract dream clients that you can truly make an impact with. So be sure to subscribe. And now we're going to get to the goods. So there are a slew of different things that you can focus on to start building out your coaching program. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But what I always say is focus on intention. Focus on is this a long-term strategy? Is this a short-term strategy? How quickly do you want to get clients? And what do you need to have in place so that you can actually start coaching people? And so I want to give you five things that I think are the most important. Yes, you can have a website, you can have a blog. Those are all great. Having a YouTube channel to hang out in with your actual community on a weekly basis, stuff like that is awesome. It's also a long-term strategy. It's also, you know, you're not gonna necessarily have a thousand subscribers or, you know, 10,000 people viewing your blog overnight. So you wanna do those long-term strategies, but more so when you're getting started, you want to create something that you can move with right away and land one or two or three clients immediately. So I just wanna give you the nuts and bolts of what you really wanna have in place when you're getting started in your coaching business so that way you can actually coach someone with confidence and clarity and be able to test out you know, the program and get feedback and all of that jazz. So let's keep it really simple. And at the end of this video, I'm also gonna give you three things I truly believe you wanna have in place for, as a checkup from the neck up, a little mindset, because ultimately I can tell you to do all of these things, but if you don't start to focus on changing the way that you think, and you still think that you don't deserve to be a coach, or you're not worthy, or you're not a master, and all that stuff, it's still going to create a block and you won't take that action. So don't miss the end of this video because that stuff is probably the most important thing that you could take away. I know you love practical, tactical strategies and tips, so I'm gonna share with you the first step. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna identify what is your specialty in your niche. Now, on other videos, I've talked about niche and niching down, but ultimately, you want to know what the specialty is inside of the niche that you're in. Now, I know that you know it's easy to wanna to please everybody. Look, I love marketing, I love sales, I love content creation. If someone came to me and was like, Jen, I really wanna learn how to run ads, I'm not your person. I'm an organic marketer, I don't run ads, I don't, uh, I have, but it's not my specialty, it's not my zone of genius. Like, I would have someone do that for me, it's not my thing. So you wanna really focus on what is your specialty within the niche space that you're in, and how do you help people? Like how do you, what kind of result do you help people get? So for example, my goal with my students, with my clients is to help them create their first five figure months. That's something that I know how to do. I do it in my business. I create five figure months so I can show people that process. So if you know a specific specialty that you can do, a result that you can create for people, hone in on that and let that be your zone, your area, and what you're known for so you can start to create a whole program around it. 
The second thing you want to identify is what is your process for helping them get a result? So it's interesting when you start to create your own program because there may be things that you do and you get the results and it's really easy for you, but you're going to have to sit back and think, gosh, how do I do that? Or what's my strategy? What's my process for me? As a content creator, I can just create content on the fly. I can I can create it right now, I can create it tomorrow. I, it's so easy for me to come up with something to talk about. For other people, it's not as easy. So I have to really think, gosh, how does my brain work? Like, how can I give them the insight of how I come up with these ideas? So you gotta think, what is the framework? I've talked about this in a previous video recently about bridging the gap. Like where they are right now, where's your dream client right now and where do they want to be? What's the result you can help them get? You gotta create a process and a way to get them there. But you can't create that process or the way to get them there if you don't know that first step of what's your specialty? What is the result you help them get? Once you know the result you can help them get, you can move and start thinking, okay, how am I gonna help them create this result? What is my program really consist of? The third piece to this is how are you structuring your program? And so I know this is where people sit in indecision all day long. Like, do I have a membership site? Should it be group coaching? Should I do one-on-one -on -one coaching? You gotta look at, what would best serve the client? Would it work well as a group offer? Would it work well as a one-on-one -on -one offer? Would it make sense to have a membership program? There's different ways that you can actually uh, create your program. So you have to identify what is that process going to be so that way you can start to build it out properly. And again, if you just think, oh, I wanna have a membership site, but you haven't discovered the first two steps, do you see how like this is the important sequential order? You always wanna reverse engineer your processes and figure out, okay, what is my specialty? Just to say, oh, I wanna have a membership site. Well, does that even make sense? Like, what do I do? And what is the result I wanna help people get? And what is my process to help them get it? Would it make sense to even have this in the form of a membership site? Or is this something where it's really gonna require more one-on-one, -on -one, hands-on? You know, that's, you, you almost let what it is you offer take its form naturally in a way that makes the most sense to deliver it. So this goes for anything. Think of if you, you know, I know people get stuck on, should I blog, should I podcast, should I have a YouTube channel? Well. It really depends. Like, are you a visual learner? Are your people visual learners? I love visual, so I love being on the camera. Um, if you are a video ed graphics editor and you're gonna be teaching people how to edit videos, it would make sense to do that on video, right? Like, is it something that requires you to be visual, visual or is it something that, you know, you would totally be able to handle doing it on a blog? So. A lot of times people think, oh, I need this or I need that. It's like, do you though? Do you really need that? And what is going to make the most sense? What is the, the process that would work best for you to be able to deliver? And that leads me to step number four, which is your deliverables. How are you going to deliver the program? So now that you know, you know who you serve, your specialty, and how you're going to create the result you promise to create for them, and you know, in what format you're going to actually be coaching, whether it's one-on-one -on -one, group coaching, etc. you gotta think about how am I delivering the actual product, the actual offer. And so this is where you get to start building out what the program is going to look like deeper and deeper. Again, it's why it's so important to go in this order so that you can start to let it unfold naturally. Now, if you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, it would make sense to do a Zoom call. Or if you're doing a membership site, you gotta start looking at where you're gonna host your membership site. There's so many different places you can do that. And this is where I want you to not get hung up. Leaders are decisive and they make decisions. They make smart decisions and they don't sit around and think about it for three weeks. Where am I gonna host it? Just figure it out. It does not take that long. There's Thinkific, there's Kajabi, there's ClickFunnels, there's all these different places you can actually host your back office program and, and the trainings and the things that you're gonna be wanting to share with your clients. So just 
pick one. And honestly, like when I first started uh, my actual program, I didn't even want to spend the time building it out and all of that because I was doing a lot of research and testing. I actually had beta students and I brought them into a, a Facebook group. It was a private Facebook group. They paid me uh, for to be in there and actually go through the process. And I delivered it in six weeks. And ultimately, it gave me so much insight on how much deeper I could go inside the program and they were grandfathered in. So I share that with you because you get to do it messy and it doesn't have, it doesn't matter where you're hosting, you know, and I know it's so easy to get hung up on the little mechanics, the little details, and you, it will stop. It stops people in their tracks. I see this all the time when it comes to email marketing. It's like, I don't know what autoresponder to have. Look, they're, they all work. So just pick one, but to stay stuck on that technicality, it doesn't contribute to the cause. It doesn't help you create impact. It just keeps you stuck. And then you're not taking action because you're too busy worrying about where you're going to have an autoresponder and not actually using one to go out there and spread your message and give value. So that's my little pep talk for you is don't stay stuck in how you're delivering. Figure it out, make a decision, set it up, and then just start mapping out your process so that you can put it into the actual whatever you choose it to be, whatever group, whatever platform you choose to do it. And lastly, you want to sit down and figure out your pricing and your packaging. Now look, these could be separate videos all on their own, which is figuring out pricing and packaging. And I want you to really understand something and more than likely it's unhooking from money mindset. All your pricing and packaging is, is a value exchange. Whatever you price your program at, you want it to match the value that you're giving, okay? Now, I know there's rule of thumb, like if your program's gonna be $1,000 that you're selling it for, then you want it to have $10,000 worth of value. Okay, so really look at how much, how much time and effort you're putting into it, the result that they're gonna create, what is that result worth? Like, what would you be willing to pay for it? You know, you, you get to just, again, make a decision, you also get to survey, you also get to do market research and kind of take a look at what are other people pricing a, a product that would be similar or comparable. Um, you know, go out there and really figure that part out because ultimately you don't have to guess your way through this. More than likely someone has created a program that isn't exactly like yours, but it's maybe in the same space and it's something that can inspire you and give you ideas and you can think, oh, okay, you know, I look at someone and, um, you know, in my space and I think, oh, cool, like they have this offer, it's this much, this is all the things they included in it. So it kind of helps me like be able to gauge like what makes sense to price my, my program at. And here's the deal. You can always raise the price. You, as you're adding more value, that's exactly what I'm doing in my program. My program right now is at a specific price point and when, as I'm adding to it and building upon it, eventually the, the value is going to be so uh, extensive and so epic that it's going to warrant increasing the price point. So don't think that your price point is like set in stone and like once you price it at that, like you can never raise the price or you can never increase it. Like you get to go out there and again, just do this messy, okay? I am all about just not having this look a certain way or having it be perfect. You're going to pivot and adjust and honestly like, I'm just sharing from my experience and being very open and honest with you about this is like, as I've been creating my program, my, my program is turning into something I never thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be just a specific, you know, piece around being a content creator. And now it's going so much further into like my true goal for people is to walk away learning how to create five figure months in their business. They're going to learn how to create content and learn how to sell and learn how to fill their calendar and learn how to create an entire ecosystem that gets them creating content with confidence, but also, you know, landing their dream clients and being able to coach them with confidence. So as you allow yourself to create, it's going to allow for it to evolve. And that's the part that is always a little scary. And that's where, you know, these three things I want to share with you come into place. 
Imposter syndrome always kicks in and has you thinking, oh my gosh, someone's doing it better or why would someone pay me? Look, you got to ditch that imposter syndrome. It's not going to serve you. It's not going to serve the clients that are waiting for you to show up. And so ultimately, uncovering and unhooking from all those limiting beliefs and the things that hold you back and allowing yourself to move forward and do this messy is going to help you create results faster. The second thing is clarity and thinking, I don't know. I don't know is such a mantra these days. I don't know. I don't know. Look, you get to know. And the reality is, is you probably do know, but there's something stopping you from moving forward with what kind of coach you want to be and how you want to serve other people and create results for them. So ultimately gaining that clarity, tapping into self-awareness so you can discover your zone of genius is going to give you the confidence to move forward and actually step into building out your own coaching program. And lastly, I know there's so many questions that run through your mind when you're wanting to step into something new that's foreign, that's scary, that you're unsure of. So it's like, Rather than making the decision to just step in and figure out the how along the way, there's all these questions that may be tripping you up that are like, well, how am I going to find clients and who would hire me? And, you know, I really don't know how much I should price my, my coaching program for. And, you know, would that even be valuable? And is what I know actually worth, you know, someone paying me for? There's all these questions. And so when you can start asking yourself smart questions, um, not that those are dumb questions, but they're not effective questions. Let's just say that. You want to start asking what's possible. What could uh, this, this idea that I have be worth? And don't squash the idea. Sometimes, you know, it's so easy to think that what we know is simple and easy and not valuable because it's simple and easy to us. You know, being someone that's really techie and being able to create funnels and do all these things, I think, oh my gosh, that stuff is so easy. But it's not for a lot of people. And people pay a lot of money for people to build those things out. And so you have to understand that what comes easy to you may actually be a gift. It's not necessarily a gift for someone else. And so they want to learn from you. They want to create a result that you naturally know how to create. So don't belittle what may come as a talent or a natural gift to you. So just to recap, what is your specialty? What are the results that you create, the process in which you're going to actually create those results? How are you going to structure your actual coaching program via you know, one-on-one, -on -one, group coaching? How are you delivering the program and the promise of the program to your actual clients? And really start mapping out what the pricing and the packaging could look like. What are you including as additional resources and tools and community and connection that would really up the value of the actual offer that you're creating so that way people feel supported. It's not like you're just selling them something and then it's like, okay, I'll holler back at you in 90 days and see where you're at. It's like, no, how are you helping them actually create a result along the way? You're with them on the journey. But of course, I'm not gonna leave you hanging here on this video, so here's what I want you to do next. My entire mission is to help you learn how to step up and coach with confidence. So I have created a five-day challenge called Coach with Confidence. And over the five-day challenge, we're actually gonna be diving really deep into how to ditch imposter syndrome for good, how to go about tapping in and stepping into your true zone of genius, how to create a plan and a strategy to create content that attracts your dream clients and lands you your dream clients. So much more. There's going to be giveaways and bonuses and uh, bonus you know, speakers coming in and actually talking. So I want you to register for the Coach with Confidence Challenge right down below. And I look forward to seeing you inside there because it is time for you to get your message out into the world. Your message matters. You have a unique way to teach someone how to cause and create a result in their life and it's time for you to show them how that's done so as always thank you so much for tuning in i always love being with you here on my channel god bless keep the faith impact the world and i will see you soon